Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So the details of my challenge for April from the 1st of April to the 30th of April is going to be completing 30 by 40 canvases. So I've given it the uh, hashtag, hashtag 30 by 40 DP along. I will put it across the screen and in the uh, comments down below and in the details down below and yeah um we did it last year and we have got some really fantastic canvases you can get some really good smaller canvases 30 by 40 is my go-to size it's the one that i like to do the most and um, i prefer doing rounds but i have got some square ones that i may drop in there as well and i'm going to aim to do um possibly four maybe one a week i can do a 30 by 40 if i've got time and uh, i put my mind to it i can do them in say three four nights maybe but i'm going to just pace myself and say i'll see if i can do four maybe five for the month so if you fancy joining in um i'd love you to be a subscriber to the channel and um, hello and welcome back if you are a subscriber if you've not subscribed yet then uh, please consider doing there so there will be giveaways as we go along um i think last time i did three sort of grand prizes at the end because we'd had so many different completions and there was some fantastic ones as i say so the way to uh, post your um, completions is either to, if you've not got Instagram or Facebook, then if you email me them, my email address is down below. Uh, and with your permission, I will then put them onto the hashtag 30 by 40 D appear along on Instagram. That's where the, like, the album will be for you to view everybody else's work. If you are on Instagram, then you can use, um, when you post your picture, if you just put in your description, um, hashtag 30 by 40 DP along, it will automatically put it into the album. Or you can send me them via Facebook Messenger. And again, with your permission, I would then put them into the Instagram album. Sorry if that's, I'm probably making that sound a little bit more complicated than it is. But if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. But it's basically, get out those old 30 by 40 paintings and let's have a go at getting some of them done. Um, I don't mind what it's of. Um, as long as it's just 30 by 40. I would prefer it if it's full drill, really. But if you've got specials or whatever you want to do, then by all means join in. I'm not overly strict on rules. <laughs> okay, now then, these are some of my older pictures that I've just got in my 30 by 40 folder, nicely labelled. Um, the first one that I've got here was from June last year. This is the uh, top one to do. So as I say, I don't mind what the theme is. What And if you want to use it for maybe more than one um, challenge or one event, then I don't mind that either. You know, more the merrier. Just uh, do whatever you feel. Quite relaxed. It's just something that um, I want to have a go at doing again and just give back to you guys to say thank you by giving you some giveaways i say it ten it will probably be like i did last time um a couple of possible 30 by 40 paintings with a few extra little bits and pieces in and it is open worldwide as well so i don't mind if you don't live in the uk um i will post out to well anywhere in the world <laughs> I will post them out to you. Uh, obviously, if you live in uh, a country far away, it may take a little bit longer for your prize to arrive with you. So these are some of my 30 by 40s that I've got to complete. I say some of them are over a year old, some of them are probably two years old as well. And they're all ones that I thought, yeah, yeah, I love that and I want to keep it and I want to get it done. So by doing this challenge, it's helping me as well because it's making me get them out and do them. Okay, so we've got our little Be Kind gnome, which I do like. Um, and I don't want that one really to go in my kitchen because it's got ladybirds on it as well. So, yeah, that one will possibly get done. We'll just have to wait and see. And, oh, look. <laughs> oh, ladybirds. I could do a whole ladybird theme, couldn't I? This is my heart leaf ladybird picture there. Okay. And then, oh, this one is never forgotten. This one was in tribute to my fair babies that have crossed the rainbow bridge um oh and i got that one from fan cells in december 2021 that's a long time ago uh, oh this one was sent to me 
um, by one of my lovely friends. This is Murder Cat um, and it's coffee because murder is wrong. <laughs> I just think that is super. The expression on that face is wonderful. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Um, yeah, somebody's just looking at me now. Did I say the C-A-T word, Millie? Did I say puss cat? Oh, did I? Oh, no. <laughs> she's just joined me. And uh, yeah, she's heard that word. So I'll quickly move on from that one. We have our beautiful blue striped zebras, which again, love that picture. This is quite um, one, a picture that's been around for a long, long time. And I'm not quite sure when I got this one, but it is probably a long time ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and another zebra. Don't you think there's a theme here? I got this one in November 2021. So this is my flower zebra. Oh, and this is Happy Puppy. Uh, this one is, oh, this is only from, oh no. Oh, this is September 2021. So we're getting further and further back in time as I'm going through these. Some of these are coming up to, as I say, 18 months, two years old. But, I, you know, I don't want to get rid of them because I do like them and I don't want to do them. I won't need any wallpaper or any paint on my walls if I do all these because the whole house will just be covered. Uh, that is my skull tree. And I did actually kit that one up to do for Halloween last year and other things got in the way um like doing all my specials instead <laughs> oh this is my wise owl i do like this one this is only from september last year so this is a newer one but i just like the colors of him oh and this is my pretty giraffe do like that one and that one's from august last year so they're just really good pictures um and they're nice and colourful as well. And I say, this is my go-to size. This is my, I can get it done in quite... Oh, are you a bit warm, Millie? She's having a bit of a pant in the corner. <laughs> uh, this one, it was from Everyday E-Deals. I got this one and it was from August 2021. So let's see if I've got any that are older than that. Oh my goodness. I think I probably have. Uh, yep, that's my bubblegum animals. That one just makes me laugh. I had to get that one because it made me laugh. Oh, and then there's my boxer dog. I do like boxers. I've never met a sane one. Oh, that one's the 11th of May, 22. Oh, no, I was thinking it was 21. No, that's 2022. So that's coming up a year old. Now then, this is my bunny. I've actually got him to do in a round and a square. So I probably won't do that one yet because I want to do that as like a comparing around and a square. I have done that comparison before, but I do want to uh, do it again with a slightly bigger picture. Uh, that one is from November 21. This one was, oh, now then, this one could be the oldest one. This was a present uh, from my lovely friend. And uh, I've put the 25th of December 2020 on this one. So I think this one is going to have to be done because that is probably the oldest one I've got. She says... Maybe. <laughs> uh, my lovely Yorkshire Terrier. There's definitely a theme of animals and dogs here, isn't there? Uh, then I've got my sign with all my different sayings on, which absolutely love that one. Uh, pursue your passion. Be fearless. Oh, it took me a while to read that then. Be fearless. Believe in yourself. Dare to dream. Test your limits. Be kind. Stay humble. Find your purpose, cherish today and never give up. That's the best one, never give up. Keep going. Okay. Oh, this is another tribute to my fair babies that have gone over the Rainbow Bridge. And again, I bought this one from Fan Souls. So I used to buy an awful lot when I first started. A lot of my paintings came from Fan Souls. Oh, this one was uh, October 21. This was when I was really into squid games. And I got that one to do for hubby. I think my idea of buying that one was possibly to try and get him into doing it. But uh, it never happened, unfortunately. And then these are just a little bit smaller. There are, th well, I suppose they're still 30 by 40, 38 by 28. Uh, and these are from June 21, my little tiger cubs. Oh, look at that one. He's really sweet as well. And then I've got a gorgeous Highland Coo. These are one of the uh, later ones that I got. These from August 22. I think that was in a pack of four from Amazon, if I believe. Uh, oh, that one just made me laugh. 
this one was July last year. Um, yeah, mindset is everything, and that's a goldfish pretending to be a shark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was another one in the four set. This is my beautiful cow look with her hat, um, her big tongue out there saying moo, and she's got all flowers in her hair. Oh, I've forgotten about this one. This is one that I got from Coo Deals, I believe. Um, and these, oh, both of them are the TARDIS from Doctor Who. So they're both variations on Starry Night, which as if you've been with me, if you've seen my previous unboxings, um, you will know that I do like Starry Night picture. Um, so yeah, I did get those. I think I was intending to join in with the... Um, Doctor Who DP along that somebody did last year but uh, yeah they're still here but I will get them done and I know the cool deals look because they put your name on them and I do like getting my name on diamond paintings and then oh we've got Paddington Bear oh now that one would be quite a good one to do um, for the coronation in May so if I get that one done in April then it'll be ready to go up on the wall for May and that's Paddington waving his Union jacket again from Coo Deals because it's got my name on it and a number. I must have ordered, did I get five paintings or did I get six? I must have got five because then, oh yeah, I need to get this one done as well. Um, so these four must have been from Coo Deals and I must have got an extra one as well because number one's not there. And uh, yeah, it's got my name on it again. I do like getting my name on my painting. How sad is that? <laughs> but yeah, that's... What I call a classic pairs soap advertising uh, little picture. And I love those. I've been looking actually to try and get the other ones that you can get of these. And I've not seen them. I've only seen this one. So I am still on the hunt to get those as well. So that is my very old, well not very old, but older um, diamond painting stash. Uh, so I do think, if I can find it, it's got a pink edge so it's a little bit easier to find. I ought to get this one done first, so I will uh, have a go at doing a kitting up on this one. 22 colours and lots of colour blocking in the background as well. But yeah, I do need to get that one uh, done because that is the oldest painting I've got possibly at the moment. So yeah, okay. Uh, that is quite a stash. I have got others as well that have been sent to me in PR packages and I have got some Easter ones that I would like to get done as well. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to choose um, which ones to do, but I am going to get some done. <laughs> so that is my painting uh, stash for my 30 by 40 challenge. Let me know, have you got many 30 by 40s? I know a lot of people like the really big paintings and don't have a lot of 30 by 40s. But I thought it's just a way of having a bit of fun and maybe getting some of them done if you like me and have got some sat around that still need to be done. So it's a subscriber challenge. Um, as I say, I would love you to come and join me. I am coming up to that thousand subscriber mark. Um, I am aiming to get there before December. So I'd sort of like set myself three years um, to get there. Well, no, I hadn't set myself. I'd worked out that in my first year, I think I did. Did I get to about 300 in my first year? I can't, I th vaguely something like that. So I said it will probably take me three years then to get to a thousand. So that's sort of my aim by Christmas. Um, if it takes a bit longer, it does, but it's just a bit of fun. Um, I try not to get hung up on numbers and then you don't get disappointed. <laughs> as long as you're enjoying doing it, then that's all that counts. Okay, so it is, as I say, hashtag 30 by 40 DP along. Um, and that will be the hashtag we'll use for all the entries. And at the end, as I did for the challenge last year, I will do a montage of everybody's entries as well. There will be the prizes at the end of the challenge. I will do a couple um, in between as well. So there will be all sorts going on. And I will show you my progress and my kittens up and kittens down and everything. Okay, so just a quick video to let you know what my challenge will be all about. As I say, uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you would love to join in. And I would love you to come and join in. As I say, you don't have to start on the 1st of April. You can start whenever you like. And yeah, let's just have a little bit of fun with those little smaller paintings. Okay, well, that's me done for If you've enjoyed looking at all my old paintings, then a thumbs up is always much appreciated. 
any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and join in with my subscriber challenge, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. By subscribing, you can become part of our little family and it just means you get notifications of uh, what's going on and when I've put videos up. You're not um, signing up to bombardments of emails or anything like that it is just literally like following um or liking on facebook and instagram okay well that's me done for now so thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now